Welcome to BBC School Part 2012 here at Shevington High School. I'm Ellie. And I'm Kieran. In today's programme, we'll be reporting on recent success for the Shevington High Youth Speaks team. We'll also be reporting on sporting events, namely a recent school trip to Italy. Last but not least, we'll be talking to some visitors to our school who've come to re look at recent development in literacy teaching across school. And now, to our first item. Shevington High School has enjoyed great success in this year's Youth Speaks competition. Run by the Rotary Club of England and Wales, Youth Speaks is a public speaking competition in which teams of three pupils have to make speeches of the subject of their choice in front of a panel of judges and an audience made up of other competing schools, their teachers and Rotary Club members. Wigan schools have done well in this competition for the last four years and Shevington pupils are proud to carry on flying the flag for the town in this year's competition. The team, which is made up of Laura as chairperson, Ben as a speaker and Matthew as a proposer of the vote of thanks, have won the intermediate category in the local, zone and district stages of the competition so far. The next round to be held in Frodsham, Cheshire on Sunday the 25th of March is the regional final in which they will compete against eight of the intermediate category teams for the chance to proceed to the national finals in Wrexham. No Wigan schools team has made it beyond the district final. Will Shevington be the first to do so? Here is some footage of the team in action. It's now the two hours traffic of our stage. The which if you with patient tears attend. What here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles. I'm sure we can all agree that Ben's passion for his subject is very clear. Ben has clearly explained how important drama is, both to us personally, and to making sure that education covers a wide range of skills and passions. And now on to the sporting news. Shemton High School pupils recently said ciao to the snow-carpeted slopes of Colmere in Italy for a week-long ski holiday. Despite the coach becoming stuck under Gaffer's Bridge, the staff and pupils made it there in the end. A wonderful time was had by all, and thankfully our head of PA, Mr Wright, was on hand to film the event. visited today by staff from two other secondary schools to look at recent development in improving literacy across school. Our roving reporter Rebecca went to visit them this morning to find out what they have been doing. My name is Rebecca and I'm here at the School Library at Shemin High School today to interview one of our visitors. Can you come and have a look at how we have improved English across the school? So what have you, what do you like about this school? Um, and what we've seen is really enthusiastic students engaged in um, literacy work. So we've uh, seen some students doing dyslexia, and we've seen some students doing toe by toe this morning, and uh, seen the mentors working with them. And that has been really good. To conclude our news today, an item from the animal kingdom: a gorilla in an American zoo has found a new best friend. After her male companion died, the gorilla has found comfort and company from a most unusual source. The gorilla is now best friends with a small cuddly rabbit, which it feeds and pets every day. A nice note to conclude our news report for today. So thank you for watching our report from Shevington High School. This report and further news from schools across the country can be seen on the BBC School Report website.